Hey, I've lost 180 pounds on a meat-focused diet. I've done keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Well, I'm experimenting with carnivore again. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Not sure if I told you guys, but I am downstairs. You know, I started off last night. Um, it was just too hot, way too hot. I think I was in that room maybe 45 minutes to an hour, but it was so stinking hot, you guys. Oh, my gosh. There's... There's a window right here. I wonder if this is open. Huh. I see chimes, wind chimes. Oh, this is, this is like a, uh, no, nope, I guess nobody could see me over there. I can't really tell. You all can't see. I don't know why I'm trying to show you all. Anyway, so it was just too hot, way too hot last night, guys. So, like I said, I was in that in in that room for about an hour, and then I just tiptoed down to the basement, and um, and I've been sleeping down here. Um, so, because the plan was like maybe Susan wanted to be down here, and thankfully she did not. So, um, because. It is so perfect. You know, I keep my house 68 degrees. Well, they have this house between 72 and 74. And, you know, the higher up you go up them steps, the higher up you go, the hotter it's going to get. Well, trust me, your girl here, it was hot. I, it may have been like 72 on the main floor, but it was like 84 on the main on the upstairs. Anyway, so here I am back in my bed, and I kind of, I, I, I got to clean this up, but my, my youngest nephew come to town, so we were visiting, and so um, anyway, I'm fixing to go to bed, so I'll update y'all on what we do tomorrow. I forget, we're going to, two, to do two, th oh, a hiking trail, the something mills. Yeah, your girl's going to be hiking. Good morning. It is six o'clock Pittsburgh time. Ooh. Hey, looking like Pippi Longstocking. Um, <clears throat> six o'clock Pittsburgh time. Just me and Missy are up. And um, we've made a marinade. She's making swordfish. So we made a marinade for it. And she's got some flank steak that she's got marinating. I think they left one piece out so I can have that. Um, so I'm going to try swordfish today. And I'm going to try... Or I've never, I don't know that I've ever bought flying steak, but my nephew's going to be grilling it, so I'm excited about that. But that's later on this evening. But um, so about eight thirty, Missy and I are going to go to Aldi, and um, and so, um, but now since we can't go till eight thirty, so I was like at six. She wanted me to cut her hair, so I brought my haircut and stuff, and um, <clears throat> I told her, I said, um, I said, well, go take a shower and wash your hair now. We'll cut it. Everybody's going to be in bed till 8, 30 or 9. So, since she and I are the only ones up, let's do it now. So, anyway, so I'm going to cut her hair this morning. But later, after, whenever everybody's up and going, we're going to go to something called McConnell's Mill State Park. This is where we're doing the hiking. But Judy and I are going to do the half, the .5 trail. And Missy and her kids and... And Susan, we're going to do the, I don't know, I don't know. It's a map. Anyway, but on the other side of it, it's got, looks like there's nice, pretty stuff. People can do white water. Oh, no, it says danger. White water, slippery rocks. There's a, his, oh, a historic grist mill. And there is white water boating. Oh, climbing and rappelling. No. Um, anyway, I guess they have a zip line. Anyway, so yeah, so uh, we're going to be doing that. It'll be a good chance to see all the pretty, you know, the trees and everything up here. You know, it's so much more advanced than ours back home, like it advances and further along in their season, so they're prettier up here. So we're going to do that. So that's today. And tomorrow we're going to do a, a, a brunch for my sister's birthday at like a breakfast buffet or a brunch buffet. My sister showed me, I looked it up and there's tons of meat on it. And we're doing that. Oh, and then we're going to go to some, I think botanical garden or something. So, so tomorrow afternoon, expect this to be like achoo, achoo, sniffing and a snotting. I should take my Advil cold and sinus before we go on our thing today. 
I'll find out what time we're leaving and I'll take that before I go. So we'll see if that kind of helps keep things suppressed. All right, gotta go because I'm gonna cut some hair. Right? Oh, this morning I'm drinking coffee. And look, <clears throat> let's just talk. Well, we ain't gonna talk about it. Just know, yeah, I'm eating my nuts. So, uh, you know, let's just not discuss it. I don't care. It's my vacation. And if that's and if that's what I choose to binge on is nuts, and then I end up with the diarrhea, it's my own fault. If we go out to this hiking, <laughs> if we go hiking, and Mom and I are on this little half mile trail, and I gotta cop a squat and wipe with a leaf, it's my own fault. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I'm so silly. But anyway, so, okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Missy's hair is done. Now I'm going to go downstairs to my hole. I love it. And uh, and I am going to go on and get ready. Um, it's, it's 640, so I know she and I are going to be leaving around 8, 830 to go to Aldi. Hello, we just went to Aldi. Missy's taking the car back. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. It's way over it's nine fifty. And that was what threw me and off. I've got burgers because and I was eggs. like, um, it's nine fifteen. I did, I thought they were all right next to each. We're at the something mill, whatever mill I said earlier. We're there. It's really pretty. Look at the trees. And this is a mill, and so I looked inside, and and um, they're showing how they how they used to. This is a buckwheat mill. Maybe that's what it's called. I don't know what it's called. But looks like it'd be good for trout fishing. When I was a kid, we used to go to Montauk State Park and go trout fishing. But I don't really see any fish in it. But that don't mean they're not in there. And there's the waterfall. This is just some kind of a water stream just falling off the mountains or well the hill whatever you want to call it I don't know man Pittsburgh it's just all hills it's so funny compared to back home you know back home it's so much now we're not Kansas State flat but we're dadgum flat compared to Pittsburgh I mean there's a lot of hills and stuff you know I kind of think in Missouri there's a lot of um they did a lot of blowing, like with dynamite and stuff. So there's a lot of places that have hills and stuff, but like along the interstates, you know, they did a whole lot of busting out and dynamiting stuff. So, so that's where we were. And now I'm gonna show you this other angle, hang on. So that's the mill and look at that covered wagon down there. <clears throat> Not covered wagon, oh my gosh, Terry. Covered bridge. So we're gonna walk through that here in a minute. We'll walk underneath it or, or as close as we can to it. Okay, it's called McConnell Mill State Park. So later on when I forget what it's called and I call it the buckwheat place, you just remember it was, this is what it is. Hang on, let's go inside a minute. And this is why I call it Buckwheat Place. Flyer bins. And look, there's a bagging chute. And there's a chute. And an elevator. There's more stuff downstairs, but I ain't walking back down those stairs. But you can look at this. Oh, Portersville, PA. Look at those big trees. They're so pretty. Come into the covered, I keep saying covered wagon, but it's a covered uh, bridge. Listen, you all know what I mean. Just read my mind. Don't listen to the words coming out of my mouth. Y'all know better than that. Inside the mill, they're playing old music. I'm gonna walk through if that's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Here's from the other side. There's the mill. Come over here and look at this sign. There's the water. It's just as pretty on this side. There's my sister, way over there, I think. I don't know if you can see or not, but I think that's my sister. Okay, there, isn't that pretty? My sister is really big into hiking. Her and her two boys and her husband have hiked all over the, uh, I get all kind of state parks. Like, I, I think there's like a few of them they haven't gone to, though. So this is the base floor. And, because uh, I didn't come down here a while ago. So, power. You can see the, what powers 50 different machine elevators and conveyors on the mill. It's a drive shaft with pulleys. Listen, this is something pretty engineering minded. I don't know nothing about this stuff, but we can look at it and appreciate the old looking wood. <coughs> There's something with gears on it. <coughs> it's an old, oh, a turbine. And a turbine. Okay, so here's the things that go up and down. It's called a water turbine. You go like that. If I drop you all, I'm going to cry. Come on. Ew, look at that stagnant water. Blech. But I guess they spun and did their thing. And then there's something. Something. I don't know what that something is, but it's something. The pulley power shaft. And there's Judith Ann and Melissa. So that's the falls. And look how they have that opening in there. Like, you know, that was, had to be man made. Wonder what the purpose was. Pittsburgh's finest. Joe Pie Weed. Bee Balm. Sunflowers. Something poppy. I don't know what the heck that says back there. Y'all know I can't read something bomb. Be bomb. There's some more Joe Pie weed. Hope none of this give, give me the something. Can't hope none of this poison ivy. Rough stemmed goldenrod. A blue something or another. A something something. Virginia bluebell. What's that say? A something snoo route. We can't see it. That part of it's rubbed off. Palmeria. Y'all just, if you see any poison ivy in here, don't just tell me. Or you can tell me. It'll be two days too late, but if I'm in here with poison ivy. <clears throat> Tall flocks. Ooh, a nodding onion. I wonder what that is. There's like, but in all this, there's only one bloom left. That thing back there, that poor purple. Let's go look at it. We should talk to it and be like, hi, little feller. You just keep hanging in there. You're doing good. You stayed a long time. You just have a good day, okay, little purple feller? Bye-bye. We are on a half-mile walk. That's funny. My sister says 0 0.5. She kept saying 0 0.5. I'm like, I don't know why she didn't say half-mile. And... My mom says, it's because 0 0.5 is how you do it in miles. I'm like, well, you wouldn't say a 0 0.5 cup of milk. And mom said, well, that's because it's miles. I'm like, huh. So anyway, this is a, I'm going to say it the way I want to. This is a half mile trail that we're on. Look up there. Look around, look around. It's pretty full. There's the sun. 
Hi, Mr. Sunshine. Hi, Mr. Sunshine. Look at that big, long tree. That one fell. I always wonder, I was telling my nephew, I always wonder what makes something fall, you know? Like, look how straight that is at the cut in. It's almost like it was cut down. Maybe they had to cut it down for something. Anyway, I just think that's interesting. Okay, off to the family. Bye, guys. Oh, the creek? Down by the creek? And I said, yeah, she is so. I never really, and so she laughs now. So she's lived around there, know we call the creek. Uh -huh. she, so now she laughs. She said, down by the creek. Oh, yeah, down, down by the creek. said he might I think they said it was just a uh, meet in the hollow. You live out in the hollows? Have you heard oh, that? Oh, oh, the hollows, yeah. Definitely. Oh, they live out in the hollows. Yeah. But they say the hollows. He yeah, might live out in the hollows. That's a holler. Great, great grandmother lived in the hollows. Who did? Your great, great grandmother. You, you really latched onto this fake word, huh? Pardon? You latched onto this fake word, hollows. Okay, we're outside. We're all done walking. We're outside. My nephew is cooking um, the flank steak. One of them's mine. One of them's theirs. Not just mine, but one of them doesn't have something. I think honey is the only difference. And the other one, he's over here and he's going to be doing some work. He's going to be hacking and sawing. I don't know what he's going to be doing. But anyway, so he's about to use his muscles and do manual labor. Okay, I'll see y'all later. I just had to show you. We've got flank steak. I've got some potatoes. Funny. I can see that. This is flounder, I think. Did you say flounder? Swordfish. Swordfish. Some shrimp and some broccoli. And that's what I'm having. Okay, so I'm done eating. You all saw what I had for my supper. There was flank steak and shrimp and um, swordfish. That was good. It was kind of like the tuna steaks, so it wasn't really um, fishy. And um, let's say, okay, so I got to think again. So flank steak, swordfish, and shrimp. And then I had a little bit of broccoli and some potatoes, the baby potatoes my sister made. I think that was all that was on my plate. Um, oh, and then I drank a protein shake. Um, and in all fairness, um, when we were out on the trails, trails, when we were out at the, um, at the state park, I had two burger patties and probably about a cup, maybe two cups of, of peanuts and cashews. So there you go. That's what I have. Oh, I have had about a handful of, I'm just trying to make sure I can name the things. I had about a handful of chickaboom pop. Corn. Anyway, it was some kind of popcorn. Maybe not quite a handful. And um, what else? I did not eat the pretzels. Oh, and I had a bite of. So last night, Missy and I peeled apples and we made a crumb cake. Or no, 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 a crumb apple crumb dessert. And so I've had a bite of that last night at supper and then and a bite of it tonight at supper. And then she also had these like apple dumpling things. And I just took a bite of the apple inside. So that's how we're looking. So <clears throat> like I said, we have peanuts and cashews and a couple bites of the of the apple pie and a handful of popcorn is the worst I get off track. We're good. We're good. So all right, I'll see you later. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I'm trying to keep up on my comments when I can. So all right, bye.